I'm Kayliana Grande. Excuse me while I wear this ponytail every day for the rest of forever. Oh my gosh. Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here. And today we're going through the entire evolution of Ariana Grande's hair. Some of my favorite videos that I make are my evolution of hair videos, and we're back at it again today with Ariana Grande. I thought it would be so fun to go through her last decade of hair because Ariana has very dramatic hairstyles, they're very iconic, and they're very specific to each season of her growth, which is not something that you can say about every single artist out there. So I thought she would just be a really fun one to cover. And I think it's also going to be fun to show you guys how to recreate it if you want to, but also just tell you about the evolution and like what actually caused her to adopt certain styles. So I found it really interesting. I think you guys are going to super love it. I have been working on this video since 2018. Uh, I, you know, did a bunch of work, put it on the back burner. I decided to pull it out for Halloween this year, and I think you guys are going to love it. Let's get into it. To start, let's go back to 2010. Now, before all of this, Ariana Grande was actually on Broadway as a child, but she got her first major TV role in 2009 with the TV show Victorious on Nickelodeon. Hello, I'm Baby Ari. The hairstyle I picked for today is a braid and it was very quintessential to 2010. <laughs> All right, so I've already put my wig on for this hairstyle. If you guys wanna know how to put on a wig, I'm gonna link my favorite wig girl, Miss Rosh Posh, in the description box below. But basically, I braided my hair down and used hair gel and a hair dryer to just this to my head. <laughs> now that it's in, we can do the hairstyle. So I'm gonna start by going about two inches back from my hairline and parting straight down. And then once I'm about an inch over my ear, I'm going to go back towards the hairline and this is the rectangle we're working with. Just gonna clip everything else out of the way. And then we're gonna do a Dutch braid starting right at the scalp, taking teeny tiny little pieces. So I'm gonna do as little as I can until this entire section is braided. And then I'm gonna braid just a couple more inches normally. So for most of these early years, Ari actually wore her hair in a deep side part with her hair down. And it was in the signature red color, which she had to have done every two weeks. There was some executive at Nickelodeon that decided this. Every two weeks she had to have her hair bleached and colored and it completely fried her hair. And she had to do that for the entire four years that she played that character. And this is why we let hairstylists and not executives make hair decisions. Okay, let this guy down. And then we just have to secure the little braid. This guy goes right back here over the ear. And then the piece de resistance, the flower barrette. <laughs> I'm gonna need you guys to sound off in the comments, hit the like button, whatever, if you remember these, and maybe like double if you wore them. <laughs> I personally created many a craft with these, and I think there is a tutorial from this era on my YouTube channel that features something like this. Here's the fun little part about this, cause I'm clipping it into a wig. It's hard to both hold the hair in place with this and clip into the wig. So I'm gonna put the braid back where I want it to sit. I'm gonna bobby pin it, and then this is just gonna be decoration. I'm just gonna tuck this a little bit behind my ear. I think that's cute. Pin it because this is plastic hair. So maybe Ari was a lot different than we know her now. For her first four years, she was exclusively known as an actor, and she wasn't actually signed to a music label until 2011 after Monte Littman saw her YouTube channels covering other songs, which I think is cool because that means she kind of a little bit got her singing start on YouTube. Then, after Victorious was canceled in 2013, Ariana got her first studio album, which was called Yours Truly, and with its debut came the first of her signature hairstyles, her party half up ponytail. You're gonna do these curls. They're actually mostly like toward the face, but there are some that are away. So okay. just like every now and then just throw one in there. Okay. And you're using a one and a quarter inch iron, but taking somewhat smaller sections. Okay. So that you get nice bouncy curls that are just a little bigger. We're gonna do some crunchy ribbon curls. This is my specialty. So this hairstyle was actually born because Ariana's hair was so damaged from her time on Victorious that there wasn't a lot that they could do with her hair. So her hairstylist, Daliana Rebello, decided to do some hair extensions and a hair flip underneath her ponytail to help create this more full, dramatic hairstyle while still hiding all of the breakage. I think it was the perfect solution because it created this like dramatic but soft princessy look that really suited her young but rising star power. So the first thing we're gonna do is part off the section that she has as her swoop. Okay. So you're gonna make a deep side part that's about 
that looks like almost two inches. It's like off her arch of her brow. Yes. You're gonna curl it up nicely in a little pin curl. Uh-huh. And secure that right on top of its section so that we can do everything else. Now the hair goes from the ear to right where you want the ponytail to sit. So you're gonna be taking a section that goes like this uh -huh. on both sides. Okay. So you can even take your fingers from right over your ears, bring them up, and let them meet together at the top. Once you do that, you can take a little hairbrush and brush them into place. That went from zero to Ari yeah, so fast. so fast. All right, now we're gonna secure that. I'm just gonna loosen these on the sides to get rid of any part lines that I can see right here. Now we're gonna take this guy down. Okay. So we're, gonna, we're gonna use the hairbrush, get all the hair going in the right direction. Uh-huh. I'm just gonna bring this forward a little bit. I look like Ari G! All right, put your hand down right there. Hold yes, her, and then I'm just gonna take the rest of this around, and I'm gonna pin it up next to the ponytail. If you're doing this on yourself, and you don't have three hands. Um, <laughs> you could always use a clip, especially one that's meant to be creaseless, to hold that in place. Oh yeah. She actually had this same little parting with a little swoop in her very first music video ever in 2011, and then, you know, it continued to be worn, obviously here in 2013 and 14. And then I think for the final bit, we have one more ponytail piece to put in. Yeah, because this pony is not thick enough for Ari. No, it is not. But I do think because your hair is a little darker, I'm gonna grab some root spray and okay. I'll do it. I'll do it so you don't get anything on the outfit. So for this, because we need it to be rooted like Anna Laura's hair, I'm taking some root cover spray. This is something you can use between salon visits. That way everything looks nice and blended. When I had dark hair and even red hair for a little while, I would do stuff like that because the new hair coming in just kind of looked weird. But for today, we're gonna quickly use it to turn these into ombre hair extensions. There you go. So this is your typical kind of pony piece where you've got a base with Ooh. all the little wefts on it, and you have a little comb, you uh -huh. wrap it around, you Velcro it, and then this is your final wrap around. All right. So I'm just gonna put that on you. Want me to get short this way? That would be so nice. And that's the first of what I consider Ariana Grande's signature hairstyles. She wore it so often, actually, that fans started to say that she only had one look, and she clapped back that, you know what? My hair's damaged. This is my favorite solution. Deal with it. And honestly, yes, Queen, because not only is it a good solution, it's an iconic solution, and I stand. Then, moving into 2014, Ariana released her second studio album, My Everything, and her look began to evolve and get a little bit more sleek and elegant and sexy, and obviously as part of that, her hair matured as well, and we got the pony. Now, full disclosure, I've actually already done the hairstyle once and taken it down, hence my hair looks a little crazy. Ariana has had so many versions of her ponytails, I'm gonna show you two ways to accomplish it. The first one, easy one, you're gonna create a ponytail in two pieces. You're gonna start by making a half updo. And now stop and hairspray the roots. To finish the ponytail, you're gonna brush everything up to the point where you put your first elastic and secure another elastic around that, making one giant ponytail. This overall makes the ponytail stronger and it distributes the weight so you're not just pulling on your front hairline. Now that everything is up, I'm going to be adding in ponytail pieces. Now for most people, I would do one ponytail piece. This is Ariana Grande, I'm doing two. This first one is from insert name here. It's a, a little fake shiny, but she's gonna work. And the next one is a human hair ponytail extension. So I'm gonna stack that one on top of this one. All together, it's gonna look really real. It's a good way to fill out a ponytail if you want to, is to buy a fake one and have it underneath other things to help hide the fact that it's not real. But the next thing that I have recently learned is that it's good to go ahead and braid this ponytail because you can use it to add volume and lift to the base of your fake ponytail. Now, if you have a lot of hair, super long hair, super thick hair, you can try it. It might get in the way a little bit, but if you have hair like mine that's a little shorter and might expose you, it's definitely helpful. And now we apply the ponytails. These come with a little wefted base and a little comb. So the comb goes straight between the elastic and your head. Whoop. Then you're gonna wrap these two Velcro pieces around the back. The very first iterations of her ponytail had that kind of soft, fluffy wave that we also saw with the half updo, and it would eventually move into kind of like a more sleek look over the years. And then if you were just wearing one, you'd go ahead and wrap this around the base and secure it. And honestly, this is not bad. She's pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. I really like it. But it's Ariana Grande, I get to be extra. 
So let's do the same thing one more time with another piece. Another major addition to the look was obviously cat ears. From 2014 to 2015, they experienced some rising fame. And in 2015, at her honeymoon tour, merch actually included light up cat ears that concert goers could wear. Now we're going to wrap this around the base and pin it in place. Leaning backwards like this might look a little silly, but the gravity, the ponytail falling away from your head, helps it to be a lot easier. And you can probably tell my tiny little braid is hiding nicely, but the final thing I'm gonna do is lean my head back, find the braid, she's right here, and I'm gonna wrap this up like a sleeping bag or a yoga mat, and I'm going to use it as a bump it basically right underneath the ponytail pieces. So I'm gonna put it like this for a second even though it looks crazy. I'm gonna wrap this up, and then we're gonna pin this. It's so full of pins, just actual pin cushion. And the tighter you can get it, the better, cause that'll just help it to stay Flip it over, look at the lift. This is curled really loosely with the one and a quarter inch iron on the human hair extensions and on the INH hair, which is synthetic, it already came like that. And there's the first of Ariana's ponies. Obviously, it's a little bit more soft, a little more fluffy, and of course, it has the cat ears. Cat ears being so signature to Ari's look. A lot of people attribute that to her love of Japanese culture, but Ari actually attributes it to the fact that she's often a cat for Halloween and she was just kind of wearing them on a whim and it caught on. And whatever the reason, they are absolutely a part of her iconography now. And then over the next couple years, Ariana's ponytail got a little sleeker and a little straighter. And to recreate that, I decided to go just so over the top. So I'm gonna do this on my short hair today because that seems much more impressive than doing it on Anna's long hair. First things first, get that high ponytail. And now after round two of hairspray, I'm using a comb to make sure all the hairs are in line, specifically over the top and sides of my head. because You don't want any of those awkward bumps. And now I'm using my pro hair tie. And then one more round of hairspray. And because I do have hairs that will want to fall out, I'm just gonna do some bobby pins along the back of my neck. Now, I pre-produced this video a long time ago. And when I did that, I wanted to do it super accurately. So I have the hair for this on wefts and they're gonna go into my ponytail at the base. This is the way that celebrity hairstylists typically do it, but the much easier way to do this if you wanna recreate it at home is just to get a really great ponytail piece with human hair and wear that because they're way easier to put in and you don't have to wear it through a concert, I'm assuming, so you'll be fine. <laughs> but you know, if you want to know how to do this just for extra achiever points, you're gonna start by braiding just a little bit at the base of your ponytail. I do mean just a little, little bit. This just gives the clips and the pins something to hold on to. It also gives me this fun little like lift right there. And now I have 30 inch long extensions to clip into here. I have both some wefts with clips and then just one really long weft. A celebrity hairstylist would use a really long weft of hair and either use pins or sew in the weft. I'm just gonna do my own thing here. So first things first, I'm gonna clip these around the little ponytail base. And I'm gonna leave room to wrap the weft around a little bit lower, so we're just gonna do these a little higher up. This feels like an expectations versus reality wish edition. Fun fact that I loved when I was researching for this video is that she almost didn't wear her ponytail for the Dangerous Woman tour. Uh, and it was her wardrobe stylist that convinced her to wear it, saying that it was a part of pop culture and belonged in the Smithsonian. It was so iconic. And she listened and she wore the ponytail. And honestly, he was right. He was saying like, imagine the silhouette of her with the ponytail. People know it's Ariana. And he was right. Alrighty, and now I get to do the fun stuff where I wrap all of this around the base. And then I'll be Ari. Her ponytail did continue to evolve. She experimented with bangs. And then when she brought on Chris Appleton, he started putting in braids and rings on her hair to complete the transition from princess to full pop star. This ponytail is actually pulling me over. I was wrong about these bobby pins. <laughs> They're gonna be a big problem. <laughs> just gonna do a little twist and pin. I'm gonna do just a couple more fringy hair pins into the base. Now, if you ever watch a video of Ari getting her hair done, they take her little piece, they hairspray it like crazy, they wrap it around, and then they bake the hairspray in with a hair dryer. I'm not totally in the mood to do that today. <laughs> But we are gonna do some of it. I do feel like a really big topic people bring up around the ponytail is A, how does she do it? That seems really painful. And B, isn't that bad for her hairline? She's never actually addressed anything to do with her hairline and I am not about to start dissing somebody else's hairline. What I will say is that, you know, heavy, high ponytails can be a little damaging on the hair. I have a whole video on why that's true and how to avoid it. But you know what? 
she looks great and her hair is kicking. And then as far as pain, she actually had this Twitter exchange with Camila Cabello recently and said that she is constantly in pain from her ponytail, which after filming this video, I 100% believe. And honestly, I don't know now what I am more impressed by, the fact that she can handle that much pain or walk in as high of shoes as she does. Either way, she's impressive. And then moving into recent years, in 2018, Ariana made her return to social media after the events of Manchester with platinum blonde hair worn either in a low half updo or a low ponytail. And now it's time for Blondie on a Grande. So during Ariana's very, very blonde era, she either did a half updo or a low ponytail. I wanna go with the low ponytail today, but because that's pretty simple, I wanna talk a little bit about what I also did to make this wig ready to wear. Here's the thing, when you buy a wig, it's usually not ready to go straight out of the bag. So for this one, when I got it, all the roots were going straight back, which is opposite of what I needed. So to fix that, you can flat iron the root on a really, really low temperature into the direction that you want it to go. Also, most of the time Ariana had a slight root, so I just used some root cover powder and a little bit of hairspray to hold that in place. Once that was all done, we were ready to put this on. Again, Miss Rosh Posh, my go-to for how to install a wig. And now we're ready for the hairstyle. Now, essentially, you put your hair into a low ponytail, but because I'm dealing with the wig, I'm gonna do an extra step, and I thought I would show you guys that as well in case you are ever finding yourself wearing a wig. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is section out the hair in front of the face on each side, and then everything else is going back and into a low ponytail. And now you can arrange this stuff next to your face and pin it back next to the ponytail the way that you want it. The reason that this is helpful with the wig is because there is a lot more hair here than I would normally have and I just need the extra control. Also, it helps to be able to really like flatten this down as much as possible and then play with the stuff around here to make it look more realistic. So I'm gonna start with my deep side and this side gets brushed forward goes a little bit over the forehead. And then depending on your personal preference, you can tuck this behind your ear or leave it over. My head's a little small and the wig's a little big, so I don't quite have room for hair behind my ear. So I'm gonna do it over. You can see I also have these little pieces that I've already cut that just go right over the ear. All I did for that was to section the hair that was right at the bottom of the lace in front of my ear and trim it. So now I'm going to bobby pin this hair a little bit behind my ear and go up and into the wig. It's not perfect, but the rest of it's going to get swept back when we do the second hair tie. So we're going to leave it for now, do the other side. Many people at the time assumed that the platinum hair was a wig, which I am tempted to agree with because like after going through all the stuff with the Victoria's hair, I can't imagine going back to bleaching, but maybe she did. All right, now grab everything together and secure it with one more elastic. And then the very final thing you need to do is wrap some hair around the elastic, pin it in place, and you're done. Her platinum hair ended up just dominating the sweetener album imagery and switching to a low ponytail gave her a chance to experiment with a new look while staying true to a major part of her iconography. A lot of fans at the time also speculated that going from high to low was meant to indicate her more somber mood coming back after all the events of the previous year. But you cannot keep Ariana Grande down because within the next year, she came out with the album Thank You Next that went on to become one of the most successful albums of all times. And one of my favorite hairstyles from that era is her hairstyle in Seven Rings. This is the kind of 2020 energy I thought I was gonna get. What you thought you were gonna get? What you get? <laughs> well, we've moved on from 2016 to technically like 2018, 2019 for the Seven Rings music video. This is my favorite Ari, I think. Honestly, yeah, Seven Rings was a flex, it mm. was a bop, it was everything you needed it to be and more. I'm so excited for this. Okay, you ready to get started? Yeah. All right, we're gonna start with the center part, already achieved. Nice. Now I know you love fun buns. Oh my gosh, Guess what? yes. So she has pink hair for this, and you're gonna have pink hair for this, but first you're actually gonna make some little triangle shaped fun buns with your own hair. Oh, interesting. It will all come. Together. I'm actually gonna give you like a tail comb and you're gonna again make that line uh -huh. the Ari line yes. from right behind your ears just a little bit forward of where you think the bun should sit so okay. like right around here all right sounds good and yeah then you're gonna put that hair in a hair last now repeat the same thing on the other side So here's what we're doing next, is you're actually gonna go ahead and make the base for the buns with your own hair. Oh. So these are gonna be little 
triangle cat ear shaped buns. Oh. And we're going to be putting more hair on top. So you want to leave a little bit of room for growth. Okay. Don't go as big as possible first. Mm -hmm. We're going to tease it here and try to build up the base a little bit more than the top. Okay. So you kind of tease and then go on here. And that way you have like a little bit more of a net down at the base. You have so much hair. So I'm going to hit the front and the back with the teasing. Now you're gonna wrap it around. I like to wrap around like one time and get like the kind of triangle shape going. So you kind of want this to be like really skinny and awkward up here. And then you can build up the base. So you could do this and just make the size that you want and this could be the whole look if you're not doing the pink hair, but we're yeah. doing the pink hair. This is a very full out costume as is. This costume brought to you by Amazon. Sponsored by Amazon Fashion. Just kidding. Except but not, but it could be. Could be. All right, well now you get to try it. Woo! I did it! Oh my gosh, that's so funny. It looks like I'm wearing ears. If you want to stop here and not wear the pink hair, you can just add in these little accessories, which mm. me slash Anna Laura made. Yay! It only drove me a little insane, but it's okay, we got here. To recreate the earrings that Ariana was wearing in her little cat ears, we took some rhinestone strands, cut them to length, and then traced out a piece of cardboard to act as this kind of rainbow shape on the back. Glued everything together, and then glued a hairpin to the back. It was a little bit more difficult than it sounds, but it all came together and they were ready to go. So once you have them all done, you just stick them in. Oh, do you stick it in the middle? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. A little middle of the ice cream cone. Oh, wow. Oh, ah! It's a kitty cat. So you could be done here. Mm. Mm. But we're gonna do pink hair. Yeah. We took a little break to downsize the buns. Quick downsize so that there was room for the wig. She has all the hair. So I some do. of you guys might be teasing the hair to get it big enough. Mm-hmm. Some of you guys might be trying to cram it down, which is what we did with that. Whatever it is, just do you. Wow, you're learning my catchphrases now. <laughs> All right, so now I'm actually gonna take this pink wig and we're gonna be putting it in behind the cat ears. So excited. So the next thing we have to do is get this hair as small as possible. Ooh. To fit under a weave. Oh yeah. You thought I forgot how to do this? Oh my gosh, flashback. So I used to do Anna Laura's hair for gymnastics and dance. <laughs> And you know, your hair can't come out when you're doing those things. No. So I made sure it never did. It did not. It was very, very, very difficult to get out. Mm -hmm. Probably the flattest way to do this would be to like braid and wrap it as flat to her head as we can, but yeah, you can get away with this. So we're gonna take these two little hooks that are supposed to be on either side of your ears from the wig. And these are gonna go behind your ears. I'm gonna put them a little bit into the hair in front of the part to give them more to hold on to. Let me know if this is killing you. Is that okay? Uh-huh. Okay, and you're gonna just tuck in the top a little bit. Hook in here that I can get in there for you. And we're just gonna take the bottom of the wig underneath the bun. And then to help secure this, I'm gonna stick just a ton Whoa, of she tight. in. Let's do a little uh, lifting with the Frenchies. Push them that way. Better? Yeah. <sighs> So you can kind of push the wig up and pin up and into it and into the bun, into the ponytail. You just want to make sure that you're separating the hair so that it lays nicely. So you separate the hair that's on top, get it out of the way, get into this good stuff in here to help try to take on some of that weight. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's brush your hair. All we have left to do is to wrap the pink around the buns <gasps> and add in some accessories. Oh my gosh. You take a section of hair from right behind the ear, and then depending on how long the hair is, it doesn't have to be a very wide section because you've got a lot of hair to work with. I cannot wait to have pink hair. And you're literally just gonna wrap it over the top of the bun that you already did. It's nice to pin as you go excited. with this because it'll just be easier. You don't have to hold your place. You don't have to like use as much skill or dexterity. It's just like let the bobby pins do the work, you know? And you also have the option to just put your hair kind of in pigtails and put the wig over it and then just make the ears with the pink hair. Whatever mm. seems easiest to you, really. To me, this seemed the easiest because you have the chance to kind of make the shape. That's basically the idea. So then you do the same thing on that side. Look at you, freaking pop star. Now, if only I could sing. Alrighty, are you ready for your accessories? I'm so ready. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. So basically, you're gonna take the hair on the sides to cover any of this. Just kind of pull it where it needs to be, including kind of 
pulling the wig over. And that's where you're gonna pin your rhinestone bobby pins. So I'm gonna pull this open aggressively because these are just the worst. We'll not be linking these specific ones, but we'll link better ones. Oh, I'm so ready to party right now. Is it all coming together for you? Oh, yeah. Can you see it right now? Oh, yeah. The piece de resistance. Woo! Don't disrupt the buns. They're like little volcanoes. I'm so oh, proud no. of these. No. Ugh! Not possible. Here, let me just put this one in. Everything's fine. I just added some serum to this and it's a whole new creature. This is everything. This is everything I've ever wanted. Would you say this is all of your favorite things? <laughs> I knew there was a dad joke coming, but I still wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Oh man. So we've talked about Ariana's love of cat ears. This is obviously a callback to that, but my favorite thing about the video was that it was this massive like hyperbolized girly flex and I felt like this hairstyle typified that to a T. And now we're here, 2020, and we all know this year's been nuts. We haven't gotten to see as much of Ariana as we probably would have, but we did see her in Rain On Me with Lady Gaga where she wore her hair down. What? But also we've seen her a lot on her Instagram with her VMA looks and my favorite look has been this pigtail hairstyle that she posted multiple times. Young Ariana Grande meet 2020 Ariana oh my God, Grande. You're so cool. <laughs> you are though. Thanks baby Grande. <laughs> <laughs> so for this we went on Instagram and we're going off of a lot of her recent images and kind of compiling them all together. We're gonna do the look she's been rocking recently and maybe, hopefully, it's the one that she's gonna emerge with for this album. We're doing our best. We're gonna try to predict the future. Check out my makeup looks. <laughs> I would like full credit for all of the good parts of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so for this hairstyle, Ariana has pigtails. I love this. You guys have been wanting me to try out insert name here hair. So these are some insert name here ponytails and we're gonna put these on as pigtails. Ooh, they look nice. So first things first, you're gonna split that little bang section that we did. Do you remember back in 2013? Oh yeah. You're gonna split that little section and clip it up and then you're gonna make pigtails with the rest of the hair. Okay. All right. Sounds good. And uh, while you do that, I'm going to go root spray these guys. Sounds good. I'll be back. I'll be sectioning. Oh my gosh, I think my hair is like exactly her same length. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, sisters. Just like basically Ariana Grande. Like I'm super close. Probably should have had you check my part line. Uh oh. Oh no. That's yeah, I would re-secure. It's a team sport. If you ever watch a video of Ari getting her hair done, there's at least three people. At all it. times. You need that many hands to deal with it. I don't even have any fake hair in yet. Whoo, it is warm in this shirt. Whoa, you're yeah. not kidding. I'm like sweating. I was trying to add in some air and Welcome to my sauna. One side complete. On to the next. And now we get to do the swoop. Ooh, the swoop. It's gonna come towards me. So it's going from the left to the right. Ah. Now to create your swoop, you're going to Take this section of hair and you're gonna lay it the way that you want it to sit. And then as you go, you can use little clips if you want just to help hold it in place. These are some little creaseless clips that you can get online. They're all over the place and you can use them while you do your makeup as well. Oh, so good. It can really make you feel like you're getting your glam done or something. Mm -hmm. Feels like a very bougie experience with these in. And then you can either use another hair tie right here or you can pin it in place. I'm just gonna pin it in place with a Frenchie. And once it's secured, you can let these out and make sure you like it. Now, if you're doing this at home and you don't wanna go all the way extra, you can just grab your flat iron and flip your ends out here and you'd be done. Call it a day. We're gonna get fancy. Alrighty. And just like that, you'll flip. I think Ariana's pigtails are like four times this size. That's where the fake hair comes in. Boo yeah. All right, so I have something I wanna try. I'm going to braid this actually first. We're gonna braid this all the way down. Now we put this on. Hook the one side in, wrap the base around. Then we have that in there. Whoa! First we're gonna do this. Gonna wrap this around the base. So now locate the braid inside of 
this thing. When I did this on myself, I just kind of leaned over, but you can use your hand, Anna, because you have an extra. There we go. And this, you're gonna roll it up like a sleeping bag or a yoga mat or something under here like this. We're gonna pin it into place. Let her down. Oh my gosh. Just, Ariana, gonna take 20 minutes. All right, you braid. Wow, I feel very lopsided right now. This look overall keeps some like iconic parts of Ari. The fact that there's just so much hair, the fact that it is in like a very perky ponytail, it's flared out, but it also looks so much more futuristic than what we're used to from her, which I'm really excited to see from her. Wow. We make this bigger than Ariana Grande's. <laughs> Oh. All right, look at me. Let me. I think maybe we should take out the sleeping bag thing. Yet again, Anna Lara has too much hair. Yeah, that looks a lot better. You're right. You get so a little funny. too. I had to use the sleeping bag trick on this ponytail, but no, not Anna. She's so fancy. So there you go. The hairstyle's a little shorter, a little flippier. The overall look very futuristic, and I love it. Ariana literally just posted that she's going to be releasing an album this month. So I wanna see if she keeps going with this kind of futuristic trend or if there's gonna be something totally different for me to cover with this next album drop. And that, in a nutshell, is the evolution of Ariana Grande's hair. It is forever iconic, forever dramatic, and I love it. I hope you guys did too. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite of her eras of hairstyles. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and share it. There was a lot of time and effort and love put into this video, and I wanna make sure as many people get to see it and love it as possible. Of course, if you're new here, you can hit that subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee and Melissa, and all of you guys can click that bell icon on to be notified every time I post a new video. But that's it for today. Whether you're old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. You look like Xenon. Oh my gosh, you're right. I've spent like two to three weeks wearing winged eyeliners and ponytails. I don't know if I'm gonna stop. This might just be me now. I swear the section of hair knows what to do because I used to go like this. <laughs>